Hey, how's it going? You want uh, Ryzen 5000 mobile in your laptop, right? I do. I think that'll be fun. I want to test them out. Problem is, you can't really get them anywhere right now as of late January, early February, unless you go with an Asus laptop. And man, the fans are ramping up on this GS66. I'm telling... Listen. Oh. I told you, totally annoying if you saw the review on this. Otherwise... Pretty cool laptop. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Ryzen 5000 series inside of laptops. What's going on? Um, what little birdies have told me? And now XMG, who's super transparent, oftentimes tells you probably too much information. I, I love that as a consumer and enthusiast. And uh, yeah, Tom, if you're listening, who's one of the XMG reps over there, really good dude. If you posted this, nice job. I appreciate that. So a little over 24 hours ago, XMG comes out and says kind of what's going on. In the email that I had received from them, it did say that this situation is specifically for them. But what now I am telling you is it's, it's beyond them, okay? I have other contacts besides XMG, several from various vendors. And you want Ryzen, the consumer, you, me, we want Ryzen 5000 inside of laptops, right? I mean, unless you need Thunderbolt 3, which I oftentimes do, I actually prefer that port, Ryzen 5000 is going to sell probably, what, 90% versus 10% on Intel if everything else is the same. Is that fair to say at this point? I think it is. I bet you if I made a poll, it would probably be 90% to 10%. Uh, hopefully I'm not being a drama queen here, but I think that's pretty accurate right now. And unfortunately, they're just unable to deliver. Not just XMG, everyone. Even XMG's supply forecast right here talks about 3070 and 3080 GPUs, but with Intel CPUs. And they have seven articles posted here. Um, some of these talking about just shortages of shipments from CPUs and GPUs from AMD. We have packaging issues, things talking about PlayStation 5. You got to remember, like not only are we in a pandemic right now, but AMD was really caught off guard. They're not able to put out the mass production in a way that Intel typically can when it comes to just CPUs alone. And they're making great desktop CPUs, laptop CPUs, 6000 series mobile Radeon, Two SOCs, system on chips, Microsoft's Xbox, Sony's PlayStation. They got a lot going on right now in a world that's got a lot going on right now. So, yeah, um, fighting with cargo space just to get stuff over as vaccines are being shipped from place to place. I mean, there's, there's a lot of interesting chaos going on right now. And the production and availability of these CPUs is, it's very scarce, okay? I have... Many contacts, like I was saying, one of which came to me earlier and said, um, you know, we sell Asus laptops on the website or we're going to or whatever. We contacted Asus because they're the company that can clearly, you know, get Ryzen Mobile 5000 right now. We said, hey, can we get two or 300 of these to sell and maybe modify? And they said, "I no, mm -mm, can't do it. Asus said they can't even give that many to partners that they've been very close with for many years, okay? So they're kind of hogging them for themselves, but that's, I mean, that's understandable, right? I mean, that's what you would do as well. Kind of a bummer, but just so you can be sure as to where everyone is at on this, if it's not clear to you now, it really should be, and it shouldn't have to be me that says what I'm about to say. You should already know what I'm about to tell you. Manufacturers realize that you want 5000 series inside of their laptops and they want to sell you a laptop. One plus one equals two, right? It's, it's the perfect harmony, but they can't get their hands on them. The next best thing is for them to put in an eight core Intel i7 10870H. Uh, and you'll notice that that's not the 875H either. That's actually a little bit cheaper of a part for these manufacturers to get. And maybe that's smart. I mean, really, if they feel like that's the best they can offer you right now, maybe they need to just put in the least amount of money possible on that chip. Um, that could be a yield issue as well, but we're talking 14 nanometer infinite plus. Intel's probably pretty good and has that perfected by now. Obviously, there's going to be yield issues with any, you know, 
wafers and manufacturing processes, of course, but I do know that that's a cheaper skew for manufacturers to buy. None of that matters, though. Ryzen 5000 series, you're looking at quarter two before product availability is better, right? And coming from my mouth, I'm going to tell you six months before you're going to see maybe 75% of all of these manufacturers able to offer a CPU that you wanted in their laptop today. Yeah, that's where I'm at on this. So not to be a Debbie Downer, but I just want you guys to have an understanding of maybe a more realistic expectation. Because if you want Ryzen 5000 series mobile now inside of your gaming laptop, then go pre-order one of those Asus devices that are probably going to be released, I think, the 16th of February, give or take a day. And if those look good to you, go for it. And there's a lot of reviews coming out right now regarding those devices. And if you can get down on that, you dig it, go for it, because that could be the best laptop for you coming out anytime in the near future sporting a CPU such as the Ryzen 5800H or better. So links in the description below for the seven articles. One of them is in German. A few of them are maybe a month old, and some of them are incredibly recent. But at the end of the day, there is a supply issue. The demand is there, and you might have to wait it out longer than you would prefer. That's going to do it, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed this content. I've got more stuff coming. I'm Bob of All Trades, and I hope to see you in the next video.